everybody, it's Haley of Moss Child Cosplay here, and we're back at it again with another fucking cosplay vlog, I guess. I don't know, it's like 7 o'clock, so it's much later than I usually record a cosplay vlog, and I don't really know where my mind is right now, so we're just gonna see how it goes. Really, there's been a mixture of a whole lot and not a lot getting done all week. Uh, my main focus this week was launching my Patreon, which happened on March 1st, and I'm super excited about that. Thank you so much to my patrons. You guys mean the world to me. I can, like genuinely, like when I think about it, I just can't stop smiling. And that means that I have not really spent a whole lot of time on actual crafting of cosplay stuff. Really what I've done this week is I finally sat down and started working intently on getting Justin's first costume done, which is the steel armor from Skyrim. Uh, we've got some things going on. Almost everything is like ready for plasti dip. Like here's the breastplate and stuff. And you can see we've got the detailing. We've got these little googly eyes so Justin can rattle while he walks around. So we actually started this armor like months ago. And I told Justin, if you do most of the work, I will help you and we'll get it done for Katsu. Obviously that didn't happen. Justin works really, really hard. He's in the Navy. And when he is home, he wants to spend his free time doing what he really enjoys, which is playing video games. I don't, I don't blame him. And he would keep going, oh no, I've got like 10 days of leave coming up. I'll work on it then. I'll work on it then. And then 10 days came. All right, how much did you get done today? Oh, I don't, I don't, nothing. Okay. So anyway, we I was just like, fuck it. After we got back from Katsu, I was like, I'm sick of this shit sitting on my dining room table. I want it gone, so I'm gonna finish it. Justin has a great interest in cosplay and he thinks that he would have a lot of fun dressing up. He just doesn't wanna actively make it. Which means I have to make it. Leading up to KatsuCon, uh, I made him cut all the pieces out. I told him, you cut the pieces out, you add this hammered texture, which was done by heating the foam and then pressing a, um, a meat tenderizer in there and I will help you by doing the detail work and teaching you how to do this. So Justin sat down and he cut everything out and we got things glued together and I was like, okay, it's, it's time to start dremeling. And if you are not experienced with the dremel, I will say this, and I, I sincerely mean this, you need to use a light hand, no matter what the bit is on the dremel. If you go really heavy handed, you're going to gouge the foam and you're going to do so much damage that you have to restart and redo some pieces. Use scrap foam, get a good feel for it, get a good feel on your dremel specifically. Because he didn't do that, like I said, I had to redo some parts. Justin's not the kind of person that likes to redo things when he doesn't have to, if he makes a mistake. And so after that happened, he grew frustrated and was like, well, I just don't even want to mess with this anymore. So um, really all that I've been doing all week is taking the pieces that we had cut out previous, going and dremeling all of the edges smooth, and then gluing everything um, together. Like this pauldron wasn't even put together. It was like one, two, three, four different pieces and heat shaping and then adding even more details. Today, actually, I added all of the googly eyes, which sounds like it should not take very long, but it took much longer than I anticipated. And that's why I'm recording this at seven o'clock. And I've been just filling in seams and uh, I've recently swapped the kind of quick seal that I use for filling my seams and I'm much happier with this one. So I was using the transparent quick seal because I liked having a visual marker of this is now transparent, it's dry. Whereas this white quick seal is just white all the time. The only downside with the transparent was that in order to really get everything smooth, I would have to do it in multiple thin coats because it wasn't sandable. But this white quick seal is sandable and that is really, really nice. So I'm really able to get some wonderful smooth seams and that's, that's obviously a plus. In terms of painting, I think we're just going to be doing one layer of plastic dip on everything. Justin made it really clear he wanted his armor to look kind of like rugged and worn. He really just wanted to spray paint it like directly onto the foam. I was like, dude, if you spray paint directly on the foam, it's going to soak in and you're not going to get the vibrancy and color that you want, especially because he wants to use one of the hammered metal texture spray paints and that's not going to show up. So uh, at least one layer of plastic dip just to seal the foam and then um, the textured spray paint and then I think we'll just be doing some hardcore weathering and shading with black acrylic paint. So that shouldn't take too long but what will take so fucking long and I'm really not looking forward to it is the whole entire belt and waist thing that's happening on this build. Like I was actually saying yesterday um, in one of my patron exclusive vlogs that 
I thought I would be done by Wednesday. And after sitting down and going over everything and figuring out what all needs to be done, there's no way I'm gonna be done by Wednesday. And so I think what I'm going to be doing instead is getting the armor set up to be painted, making Justin paint it because this is his build, damn it. Taking a break from this to focus on my next build because Patreon is now a, a priority. And if you don't know what my next build is going to be, I've kind of sort of announced it on Instagram. I haven't like officially started making it. I'm still in the planning stages. But I'm going to be doing the Zora Magdaros armor from Monster Hunter World and I'm super excited about it. It's got like all the elements that I like in armor and I feel like it looks like a castle. Like a castle with like banners hanging down. You know what, I, I don't even know how to describe it and I probably sound insane, but just all these sort of architectural elements within the armor and then the draping of the skirt looks really cool. So um, I'm hoping that next week I will have some of the armor for my Zora Magdaros built. I really want to start on the pauldrons and the gauntlets. The gauntlets are super duper fun and I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to tackle the tabard sort of thing that she has. Um, there's a lot of, of scales and I've seen people do it with uh, EVA foam and it's really really cool because there's a lot of texture but also that seems incredibly time consuming and I want to get this done before we move in May and it just seems also like it just it just doesn't seem like the best way to go about it. But yeah, that really wraps up all of this week. There really wasn't a whole lot. I also got some fake plants that I neglected to mention. They're over there. Um, maybe I'll show them next time. We'll find out. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all my Patreons, especially Chloe and There Shall Be Noise. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope that I will see you next week. And if I don't see you next week, maybe I'll see you at a convention. I don't know which one to say still because we haven't really figured out what the fuck's going on in the next few months. Yay!